What's up, everybody? Welcome to Making Songbringer. I'm just finishing up making these these left right stairs, these east west stairs. Been playing around with those. Today I'm gonna be making a new NPC. His name is Rockface. He's a big old he's a big old rock face. He's a big rock that you meditate next to and you learn about stuff. What's up, T? What's up, man? So I gotta find a suitable place for rock face. Rock face, rock face. Wait a minute. The world already has some interest points. I think one of these interest points should be where rock face is. Ahoy, salad dogs! What's up? Ahoy, mate! You get out of the closet, you can see out of the closet! Isn't this great? Okay, some of these interest points are already dedicated to some things like the bike crashes. Which ones are those? Yeah, so today I'm making a new NPC named Rockface, and he teaches you about the lore of the universe. This goes, you know, this is like the longest, 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 longest term storytelling you can possibly get. Like what created the human race. Right, there's interest. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like a real stoner. Not rock face like a like let's rock out face, but like an actual face of a rock. Kappa! Kappa! Oh man, where where the hell were those bike crashes at? Is this it? It's just straight up in pattern connector. This is a really bad place for this. <laughs> oh man, I gotta get my coding better. Nice, nice, nice pun. You deserve you deserve five points. Bam. Can I is Bafu here? Give points, salad dongs. Five points. <laughs> Every pun you make, you get five more points, all right? Oh, it's K-Flag Crash. Why did I add a whole flag for that? This is also a bad way to do this. <laughs> it's a joke's on me, damn it. Okay, I can get this all organized better later, but I just want to figure out how I'm gonna do rock faces flag or whatever. Where is this? Generate overworld post. Huh. Okay, so it just goes after it generates the entire overworld, it goes and then places flags. This is uh this whole system I kinda wanna redesign a little bit to make this better. 
Um, if we don't, I don't need to be dedicating an entire flag. There's only 64 bits total, you know. I don't want to be dedicating an entire flag just for crashes because I want each one of these overworld interest points. Like, here's one, one. Um, you know, where's two? There's two. There's three. There's four. So these are going to be points on the overworld where you're going to be just experiencing something interesting. There's not really a, there shouldn't be an enemy at that point. Sometimes there may be enemies that like, but it's going to be more of like a, a special enemy, like an ambush or something. Anyways, one of these interest points is going to be rock face. A good place to do that naturally would be, oh, you know what? It doesn't really matter because up in the mountains and down in the forests, um, the, there's still going to be rock face. Rock face can be in the forest. Rock face can be in the mountains. Rock face can be in the sand or the dark forest. That'll be interesting no matter what. Okay, so anyways, let me make some notes here about, wait, there's another system too that does this, k interest vel. What's that? That's got a squiggly one. Oh, these colons are secrets. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, so this one is the first interest, which is vel. How does it get? Oh, yeah, this is the system I should be using right here. These interest, interest numbers. Okay, so before I fix the way the crashes work, I can just give them some comments to know which ones they are. So three. All right, T. Good night, man. Thanks for saying hi. See you next time. Num interests. Yeah. So the, if the num interest three, well, zero would be flag one. So this is actually flag four, eight, and twelve. I hope. Okay, I'm not exactly sure if those are those are right, so I'm gonna comment them out for now. So yeah, what's up, Arcane? Yo, man. Hey guys. So let's do rock face. We'll just make him number one then. Because he can be. Rock face one is one. Rock face two, three.
What's up, man? It's going really well. Today's plan is to make um, a new NPC named Rockface. He is um, he's this he's basically this big rock that um, that has a lot of knowledge of the universe, <laughs> and you meditate next to it and get all its knowledge. So you're you're kind of like communicating telepathically with this rock. Oh no, not rock space. No, no. Okay, so it's creating an interest Z for every one of these. It's funny how you haven't, when you haven't edited a certain bit of code in a long time, you just have to go remind yourself of how everything works. Like, wait, did I, uh, did I finish upgrading this entire system? How does this all work again? Oh my god, I forgot how slow my computer is to recompile while, while doing a live stream. This took forever. Anyways, all I wanted to do is see... Wait, max interest is 9. What? Why is it only nine? Yeah, I know. If you write it well enough. In this case, I didn't write it well enough. <laughs> I got all like there's like three different ways I can set it, an interesting point in the world. All I'm trying to do is nail down which one of these should be the rock face and all that and it's really difficult because I have like three different systems or something. One's an ancient system that was the way it all worked at first. I was like I had no idea how to do any of this. So I was like, uh, mm, let's do it this way. But once you put some nice constants all in place, it starts becoming nicer and easier to figure out. You fix another bug with your allocator? Yeah, plus one for preemptive coding. Okay, preemptive coding has gone up one. Syntax stream? I don't know. Because now I need a pattern rock face. I'm going to have to recompile again. Alright. Pattern rock face one. Might as well do all three of these while I'm here. Rock face one, two, and three. There's going to be three of him, right? Wait, how big is this story? Uh, I feel like three is going to be good, good enough. I can always add a fourth. Later. Okay. Let's recompile again. Here goes another two minutes. Yeah, it was easy walkthrough. So what what are you writing right now? What are you doing with your your game engine? Or are you too busy with school? Or what's up? What you been doing, man? What you been doing, sound dogs? 
What you been doing the last few weeks? Okay, we're gonna need pattern constant all set up. Got rock face one. All right, there we go. Rock face one, two, three. You're so supposed to do so many things, but you're lazy. <laughs> School's part of it. Oh, you've been looking at audio? Sweet. Oh, cool. Oh, uh, whether to use the library or code it. Interesting. Ah. What a fun choice. What's up, Big Mac Dev? Yo, things have been really good. Okay, I think I got this, these two interest flags now finally compiled and a pattern flag, so I can basically go find a place in the way. Rockface is gonna be number one, which is, wait. No, the first one, wait, don't tell me I just did this wrong. No, interest vel is zero. Yeah, okay, okay. You'll try and do it yourself. That's why I respect that about you, man. Yeah, it'll be a learning experience. Of course it will. Okay, so it's gonna be number... Wait, there's vel's cave. So it's gonna be squiggly two. Here we go, it's gonna be right here. Squiggly two. This is where rock face is gonna be. And then squiggly three is another rock face. And squiggly four as well. Nah, squiggly four should be something else. But we'll work on this one first. Okay. So what that means is do you need to place it but using pattern connector or add pattern. Add pattern, yeah. We'll use add pattern here. And we'll do it in world. Okay, so we need to put the player at what's this seven zero six five four four one. Oh, it was so close to that same point. All right, so for now, it's one of these old interest points with the floating spheres. Hmm, I was really thinking he would be in a dead end though, dang. I guess I could make him smaller than I was imagining, but I kind of want him to be giant. And to do that, I basically need to cover up the northern route, or, oh, or he could have, 
a pathway underneath him. Huh. All right, so this area here, he could have basically almost half the screen available for his face. And then I could do basically a, like an overhanging arch into some more rocks over here. Wow, that would be cool. And then you meditate down in this part. Okay, this could work. And then he could fit on any, would that enable him to fit on any kind of screen? No, he would have to be, there would have to be a lower pathway coming in. Which would mean that this point right here, we need to guarantee that this doesn't exist. Oh my god, this would be so much easier on a dead end. Hmm. What if he was just... Hmm. Could just be in the middle of the screen. Like he could take up maybe this much ground space and then he would be taller than that so like he would come up to about this high and that may he could fit here even so I can move him around the screen like I could put him there 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 Oh. Or he could be underground. Nah, if he's underground, I kind of want to, I want you to experience this on the overworld. So like you get to this point on the overworld, you're like, whoa, check this out. This is interesting. This is an interesting point. <laughs> okay, so that means about that big. which is I can make this whole image so, hey what's up baby I'm streaming hey nice you like them yeah they're fun you see my eyes uh-huh It's approximately
six by eight sort of in tiles. Okay. So all in all, I wanted it to be about that tall and then this tall. Wait. Yeah, maybe around that big. Okay. I think I'll probably draw them in grayscale so you can be colored according to the current area. So if he's in a sandy area, he look, it'll look more sandy. And if I take stair, no wait, not stairs. Cool, I got a couple colors that should work pretty well.
Fire Team, what's up, man? Yo. How you been? Oh man, I took a look at that place in Finland that you're trying for a residency for. Oh my god. It looks so cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's been really fun times making all those bosses. All the bosses are now, uh, the rough drafts versions of them all are complete. So that's cool. This rock already looks pretty wise. Nice. I'm not really liking his nose yet. I think it should be more like around here. Okay, let's grab that highlight color real quick. Yeah, life's been really great, you guys. It's been great. I was on this nice hiking trip last weekend. It was so good getting out and going hiking. I went hiking in this place in the Trinity Alps. It was actually really, really cool, which is like a in Northern California. Um, there was like there was a lot of people there hiking that weekend. That was pretty cool. And it really surprised me how many beautiful mountains there were. Cause I thought, I thought it was really awesome in Canada seeing like all these beautiful mountains, like everywhere. You're like, Whoa, there's a mountain. There's another mountain. There's another huge mountain. It's beautiful. And has snow and stuff still. And, um, you know, it's not really, you don't really see that as much in California because, um, you know, we, we don't have, it's like, you think, you'd think that it's not, we don't have as much beautiful nature here in California because it's hotter and sunnier and stuff. But like, we really do. California has some really, really beautiful mountains. They're just kind of hidden. Yeah, that island. It's a mostly deserted island. It used to be a military place. Yeah. Wow. So what's it what's it like? How do you apply for those residencies? How what's the what's that process like? Yeah, you guys don't, I know, right? So what's everybody been up to this summer, right? It's been summertime.
Wild Ethan. What's up, Ethan? Oh, so you had to apply, they sent you a form, a resume, plan, what you're going to do, recent work. Wow, writers, PhD, installation artists, biologists, wow. Dude, that sounds like such an inspiring environment. You know what? I should just see how big he is first before I try and make him super detailed. Yeah. Let's go check the proportions. Whoops. You've been trying to make pixel art? Why why you say you fail? Why are you failing? Okay, so we need an entity for him. Really? We have those? Because it looks like it's melting? That sounds cool. That could be a cool art style, melting art style. Oh, this is cool. Florida, Jersey, Santa Monica, National Parks Arts Foundation. Missouri. Lots in New York, wow. Here's one in LA. What the National Park Service does. That's cool.
Bang! I didn't even know about this. This is so cool. Sweet. Oh, Ethan, that's pretty cool, man. I like it. Red Sands. I like how you got the moon and then like a little slice that looks like the moon could fit in it. I like it, man. Yeah, this Hawaii one. What is this? <sighs> Hawaii is so nice. Cool. Jeez. Got so many entities here. I'm like, uh, I should put it right before all the levels, but <laughs> the levels are so long. Wall, door, all this stuff. Here we go, here we go. Right after pizza, George the Turtle. Here's a good place for rock face. But when you animate, it's bad. You should just animate anyways, man. The more you animate, the better you get at it. So he's going to be, oh yeah, well, let's just do it, eyeball this kind of like that. That's about how big he should be, 128 by 77. So like seven by seven. Seven by seven by seven. I don't know how you do it with any particular application. Yeah, oh, I hope it is. I hope it's a real great surprise when you play it all. And it's going to be even more and more and more of a surprise because I'm adding more and more NPCs um, and story. So the story is finally getting written now and added into the game. And, um, and then refining the dungeons and stuff and refining the overworld. I'm really working on the overworld a lot right now, making it a lot more interesting. So, okay, we got a render component, a collision component. We're going to need a dialogue component for this. This thing's gonna talk. <clears throat> and we should give him a name too. Okay. Where is this dialogue gonna start? Maybe there, 116. Color. I don't know what his color should be right now. All right, cool. We got an entity for rock face now, which means I could throw up. Um... 
Oh man, I don't want to do a special tile for this. Oh, I think I have an NPC tile already. Can you make a port for PS4? Maybe. I think I do have an NPC tile already. Yes. Okay, so in world.cpp, when it's creating the Maisie, So there's underground entrance, there's extra level, here's entrance, here's secret pattern, here's an open interior. Otherwise, we'll do if has bits k flag interest. Whoops, bips. Get the interest flag number. And then if it is. Okay, interest, rock face. We're gonna do um, pattern rock face. So pattern equals K pattern rock face one. Okay, so now he's got a special pattern which will enable him to put the NPC tile and throw up any static tiles it needs to put up around him and stuff. Okay, so that's hooked up. Now, in area patterns, we need to make a pattern for Man, so much work to get this all hooked up. It's all just pixel art. Mostly game dev. Mostly coding. That's where most of the time goes. Code, 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 code. Thanks, Ethan. I'm glad you're hyped. I'm hyped too. I actually like playing my game. It's pretty cool. You know what I mean? Sometimes you work on something for so long, so many hours, that you really don't like it anymore. That's definitely not the case for me. I love this style of video game. I'm glad I'm I'm so glad I'm making my dream video game. So cool. Okay, so these should be patterns. I'm just gonna do this because this is ugly. I need to remember to go back to this later and make these patterns. Wait for now though, we don't wanna put any of these. The big tree is all right. But we don't wanna do one, wait, or a couple spheres, this one. This is case two. Yeah, right? Yeah. It's fun to play. It's fun to play a game that you love, but also be to be, to make a game that you love, to make that style of video game is I don't know. That's where passion comes in. You're like, "Yeah." So, 
So this is going to be one of the special overworld patterns. Uh, these are the general patterns. Tree, tree pond, here's entrances. Nice. Why'd you buy it three times? Wait, there's stairs. There's item. No, not these. What pattern? Ah, oh, special patterns. And finally, the end. Sword. Vel connector. Vel. Vel. Vel warrior. Here we go. Rock face one. This can be pretty dang simple here. This set tile. W2, H2, minus two probably. K tile and PC. Nice, you're making a remix for that game? Cool. Now create NPC tile. Hmm. Okay, so we'll do some special NPCs on the overworld. Based on the pattern. Pattern rock face one. We use entity rock face one. Okay. Okay, so if all that works, we should have we should have the rock face on there. Oh, I forgot to do his color. We'll just be gray. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, let's see if it put the right tile and everything. We're on area 410. Let's see if it hits that. That's a pretty, it's a big part of it. No, okay, so it did not create this pattern. That explains a lot. Is this almost done? What you mean? Let's 
the shit I got here. The game? You mean Songbringer? Not quite. Not quite. There's still a lot of work left to do. There's a lot of refinement work to do on all the bosses, all the dungeons, the entire overworld. And there's the story to write. And that's all going to take a little bit of time, but it's relatively close compared to where, you know, compared to two years ago. The game is relatively close to being finished, you could say. But there's still a lot of work left to do. So it's going to take a minute still. Yeah, you did, but that's only the rough draft version of the final boss. There's still a lot of work left to do on just on the final boss. He's got a whole other version of himself um, that you fight at the end. And he's got a couple more attacks, and he's got some pet snakes and stuff he's going to have. So he's going to be even more epic and awesome. So, but it took me two weeks just to do the first version, the rough draft version of that boss. So I'm like, <laughs> I need to take a break from working on this boss. And it's kind of been that way the whole, the whole making this entire game. It's like, you know, I can work on something for about 10 to 14 days. And I can, it's, I can get a lot done in that period of time. But it usually isn't quite enough to refine it and make it really awesome. So I like to take a little break from it for a while, like a month or whatever of doing something else and then come back to that thing and iterate on it further, refine it, make it better. And that's that sort of spiral works well for me. What's up, Jonah? Hey guys. How's it going today, Jonah? Should I say graduate? What do you want to be called from now on? Are you graduated yet? You done graduate? A month of doing Songbringer 2? No, I don't mean like Songbringer 2. I just mean one little part of Songbringer. I'll like make it and then I'll wait and then I'll come back to it. Because it's such a long-term thing, right? Imagine working on one piece of art. Let's say you're a painter and you work on one painting for three years, you know? You, you, you would need to kind of like focus on different parts of the painting and then come back to that other part of the painting later if you're if you're really painting that much. And imagine if you're not, you're not just painting something for three years, but you're painting it for three years and at least eight hours a day, at least five days a week, if not six or seven days a week, you know? That much time you put into one painting, one artwork, one song, you know, imagine writing one song for three years and making it even longer and better. Oh, uh, so your graduation is in January. Oh, okay. So does that mean you officially get your awesome title? Like you're, you're like, hey, I'm Jonah. I'm Dr. Jonah. I'm Mr. Jonah to you. What do you want to be called from when, when you're all graduated? You would be a crappy painter. One zero zero. Is that one of them? One, zero, zero. Yeah, this is number eight. Okay, cool. What is this number eight? N. N's eight. Oh, yeah. So if N equals one. Oh, no. Get flag number is number one. This needs to be in minus one. That's why we weren't getting it. Dr. Jonah, MD. I would watch that show. 
That's how you work? Start one painting, leave it be for a week or a month while you're doing another one? Yeah, nice. Cool. Just Jonah's fine? You got a job too? Nice, man. Congrats. Yeah, the fresh look, exactly. Fresh look, it's such a such a beautiful thing. Come back to something after you've been working on it for a while and have that fresh look at it and be like, oh, you see so much. And detach yourself. Ah. Yeah, kill your darlings, right? Okay, he's kind of up in a really weird place here, but okay. So he needs to be lower, like lower. Um, let's color him. Wait, let's make this I. Is get flags minus one. So if I equals interest rock base, it's a little cleaner. He looks very pleased or stoned, right? Uh, most of the work so far has just gone into like the code part of it. Now I can get back. Now that I got him finally in the game, I can see if he's the right proportions and then actually go and draw him and make him look cool. Cause he does look quite a, a little bit too. I see the owl. Yeah, I can see him looking like an owl for sure. <laughs> yeah, he's got these stony eyes, right? <laughs> totally. No pun intended. No pun intended there. Promise. Scout's honor. See if he looks a little bit better with that color type. Oh, and wait, hold on. Before I do this, I want to make him a little lower too. Here we go. And his position of his I don't know, we'll we'll figure that out in a second. It's a stone stone now. <laughs> Ah, oh, so much better with the right coloring. <clears throat> a little bit lower. One more, at least. <coughs> oh, water went down the rug, goosey. <coughs> and let's make it daytime, too. I want to see what he looks like all hours of the day. In fact, Wait a minute, hold on. You should have a shadow component. Probably offset Y30, or, I don't know, let's see. Oh, the shadow component might look really weird actually. But if I were to do it, I would put it about there, 32. Oh, I could make a special shape for his shadow. Hmm. Yeah, it looks a lot more integrated with the right color. <laughs> for sure. Okay, let's see what it would look like with the shadow. And we'll turn on the whole day length going really fast. I'm thinking there might be some item you you can use, like a like a consumable item that makes the day go to night or the night go to day. Like it just speeds up time really quick. Or maybe there's an NPC you can talk to that does that. Yeah, so the shadow looks really, really weird. First of all, it's the wrong texture. <laughs> the shadow looks horrible. I wonder if I would do a special shadow. Wait, what if wait, what if the shadow actually was all the way at the bottom? 
55. I think I spelled it wrong or something. That's not working. No, that's how it's spelled. It's weird. Like an hourglass item. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I mean, it's just kind of a silly little item it does allow you to get certain secrets and things like that or maybe trigger certain npcs like only certain npcs will only find you only find them at night i don't know why that's not working but i don't think it should have a shadow component it just looks too weird let's see what it looks like without a shadow component if it if it looks okay characters like shadowy hmm he's a little more in the corner Huh, and I wonder if he's the right shape. I was kind of imagining he actually had more, not a flat front of his face, but he actually, his nose came out more. So it might, and it might really need to rethink the whole shape of this art. Oh, he's kind of cool. And I could do a custom shape for his, um, collision box too so you can actually stand below him more what if he was a little up more up yeah the shiny effect yeah that's that's a new little thing i did this week yeah oh man oh you haven't even seen a lot of things but there's a there's a lot of cool stuff with the overworld now too i've been working on this week Oh, I should sh I'll show you that actually. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of stairs. There's stairs everywhere, so it really gives the everything a more of a three-dimensional feel. Yeah, that kind of looks cool like that. And maybe he could have like an arch too. I'm thinking maybe he has a big old arch thing. Okay, so check out some of these things. Let's go look around the overworld a bit. There's stairs. So stairs, you can actually walk up now, like before you wouldn't slow down. So now it feels a lot better to walk up stairs. You have to like actually fight against gravity to get up them. Um, and then you've got like stairs here too. So once again, it's a really good feeling. It slows everything down for you. And also enemies can't walk on stairs. So it kind of creates a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a game mechanic sort of. What's up, Zyger? Yo! Yeah, really good game feel. And then, I, and then today I've been working on these, these horizontal stairs. So they make you move kind of, you know, like... Up a little bit as you go. I gotta work on them a lot more and get, put some more in the middles of this the areas. But let me show you something else, too. There's uh, the... The dark forest is now actually really dark. Wait, no, this is the sand, so hold on, let's go find the dark forest. Here we go. So the dark forest has like all these little, um, 
black foggy things and then some other crazy fog going above it too. So there's black fog, there's like some pink fog going on. And then there's that little, that little crazy glow happens at night now in these areas. I don't know if that's, that's, I'm gonna keep that or not. But it's all intended to make the dark forest look a little spookier. So that, that's what I've been working on this week. Lots on the overworld. Making it better. It's too spooky! <laughs> yeah, there's a lot going on. I'm not really not sure if I'm gonna keep that crazy uh, green circle glow you're seeing. That's kind of an accident with the new glowingness that the nighttime has. But it, it really affects the fog pretty strongly there. So I'm not sure if I'll keep that. That green circle. Yeah, there's going to be a lot spookier. I'm going to definitely do a whole audio pass on the game too. So there's a lot of a lot of like sort of rough sketch audio in the game. Like it's just stuff I created off the top of my head. I really didn't know where I, where I wanted to go artistically with the music at that point. So now that I've kind of got those rough sketches in place, it'll be really pretty easy to go back and take them and make them look like better. Way better. Oh, there's bombs here. Wait, what's this? Oh, I totally thought there would be a secret in this area. Yeah, so it's um, it's been a really fun week working on stuff like this. The overworld, the fog. Nighttime glowing a little bit better, working on the shadows, making things look better. Yeah, the rain, the rains too. So yeah, in answer to your question about spooky forest sounds, I do want to make it, it more spooky sounding. And I want to see lots of more interest points too. So that's what I'm working on right now with this rock face thing. It's just like... Uh, looking at all these spots on the overworld that have little squiggly lines, all these, all these are gonna be interesting things, like a, a rock face or a crashed ship, or like overgrown towery thing or something. You know, all these, every single one of these squiggly lines. There's so it's like 32 different interesting points, and they'll all be kind of different, or have a secret, or have a little story element, or an NPC. Something like that. Thanks, Steve. That, that means a lot to me. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Okay, so I want to make this rock face look better. More interesting. Less lumpy. He looks, he looks too much like a gumdrop. At this point, <laughs> it totally look like a gumdrop to me now. Okay, let's see it in the daytime from now on. I just want to see it one hour of the day. Okay, maybe I'll work on the mechanics actually for a second. So the mechanics are you're gonna meditate, do your meditation animation, and then he talks to you while you're in your meditate. Nah, I think I wanna do the art first.
first of all, what would it look like? It's twice, twice the width. And an archway. Rock, I'm your father. Yeah, no, it's not raining permanently. Every time you go and you uh, um, beat a dungeon, it changes its art, its weather style. So there's like, there's three levels of rain, there's snow, and then there's sunshine. And so if I just change like one of those, how many bosses I've defeated, like maybe I'll do one. I think it might ought to be snowing now. Oh, that's the intense rain. Starts getting sideways. And the next, whoops, the next one should be snow. Wait, hold on. It seems to be one. Hunger, go away, hunger. I'm starting to get hungry. There, there's some snow. Let's chill with the snow for a minute. It's nice. Snow in the desert. <laughs> Such a rare thing. It is. It's calming. It soothes my soul. Okay, really rough draft here. Just going really fast to see what a what a bridge would look like. Okay, which means he's gonna need to be back over this way. And you'll need two different collision points. But for now, for now, let's just throw it in and then align it and stuff. This way he can be kind of like pushed up against the other mountains around. So I think he needs to come down a little now. So you can see that other path up top. And then it would kind of be nice if all the mountains like work their way in. So they all attach to like they just fill the entire screen, but leave an X or whatever. Hmm. Collision area is in the wrong place now. What's up? Did I leave an app open? What's up, computer? I like this. I like that there's an archway. Really haven't used any archways yet. 
This guy still looks too much like a gumdrop to me. That's the part that's kind of bugging me. But, um... Dang it, I'm, I'm so hungry. <laughs> oh, man. I feel like I haven't been streaming long enough yet to be hungry, but I think I am. How long have I been streaming? Oh, uh, yeah, okay, I have streamed for a while today. All right. All right, well, I think that's going to be it for today. So I got Rockface started. This is pretty cool. Rockface is going to be a sweet character where you you use your meditate skill. So you'll come up here, you'll find Rockface. He'll look a lot better than this, of course. Use your meditate skill. There's like some crazy meditation energy and effects and sound effects. And then Rockface begins to talk to you while you're meditating. And you learn about the lore of the world, how the human race came to be in the Songbringer universe. So that's it for today's video. Appreciate you all. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you all next time. Thanks a clone geek. Appreciate that. Later, everybody.